God's freedom. In that way, they can't be taken away. And it doesn't matter our skin color, our gender, our age, our race, whoever we are, they're freely given from God. And so we will have prayer service. We'll continue. We're going to be here for a while. We're going to set up a little PA system. We want to invite our Hong Kong friend. If you want to speak, uh, feel free to do that. And perhaps most importantly, we are here trusting that something extraordinary will happen. So again, Reverend Patrick Mahoney, director of the Christian Defense Coalition of Washington. This is Reverend Keating. I'm, I'm Chris Keating. I'm here because I love my neighbor in Hong Kong. I'm here also because I follow Jesus and he teaches me that sometimes my neighbor is the person who lives near me and sometimes my neighbor is a person who lives farther away, especially if that person is in need. And I know if I lived in a place where freedom was being impinged or threatened, or if I lived in a place where peace was being threatened, I would want people to come from, even from far away, to stand with me in solidarity, to stand with me to say, we see you, we care about you, and we love you, and so that's why we're here. Most importantly to us is that people would understand that Jesus is most important for us. And we understand that as we follow him, the world gets better. The world is a good place because he made it. But some other and even people who sometimes act in ways that we aren't favorable towards, sometimes act in ways that we would call shameful, even those people are loved. So we want to be here to make love contagious. We want to be here to make peace contagious. And so we stand here in solidarity with our neighbors in Hong Kong. Reverend Devlin. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we're on a live Facebook feed back in America and about 30 different nations. So my name is Dr. William Devlin. I'm a father, a husband, and a grandfather, a father of five, a grandfather of seven, and I am the CEO of an organization called Redeem. And our organization, which works in many countries, many hard places throughout the world, we take sad stories, sorrowful stories, and we turn them into joyful stories. We redeem people's lives. And so that's why we've come to Hong Kong in order to be here with you, Hong Kongers, and to say that we love you, we care about you, we are so thankful for you. And we left our comfort in Washington, D.C. and in New York City in order to be with you, in order to be with you. So we are here today just to pray. You don't see any signs. We're not out here protesting. We are here to pray because as three American ministers, we believe in the power of prayer. We believe that God can move when we speak to Him. So one of the great things about the Lord Jesus Christ that we serve as clergy and ministers is Jesus said this. He said, my peace I give unto you, Hong Kong. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. We're not here talking about a worldly peace, but we're talking about the peace of Jesus. That's the message we have here in Hong Kong, is the peace of Jesus. So we came from very comfortable lives in New York City and in Washington, D.C., because we heard about your plight. And we have been inside at Polytechnical University. We have been there at Chinese University of Hong Kong. And we are here simply to pray, simply to be with you, and that's one of the other great promises of Jesus is that he said, I will be with you even until the end of this age. So as we begin this time of prayer, Amen. we want you to join with us to pray. Uh, we're going to be out here until 6 p.m. tonight. Not a protest, but simply a time to pray because we all believe in a God that answers prayer. We believe in a God that loves us and has a wonderful plan for all of your lives. And, and God has a plan for Hong Kong. 
and we want God's plan for Hong Kong to be here. So we're here quietly and we're just going to pray. So God bless you again, Dr. William Devlin. I'm a pastor in New York City and in the Middle East and we're here simply to pray. So as you hear the word of God, we pray that it would touch your heart. So we're so thankful that you're here today and you can join us in prayer. So Reverend Mahoney. A couple of things we'd like to ask. We're gonna move back. We wanna make sure the sidewalk is kept open. Um, we will set up a PA in just a minute. Um, great, um, can you set the PA? We're not quite sure how to work that, but we'll get it. Okay. Hello, welcome. Um, we want to keep the sidewalk clear so that people can come by. We also want local Hong Kongers to come share with us, to pray with us. And one of the things we're praying for this city is freedom that God provides for us. So let me open by reading a psalm that we pray over... Psalm 91, we pray over the city of Hong Kong right now. They that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover you with His wings, and under His wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. And that's one thing we are praying over the city. That the love of God, that the grace of God, that the peace of God covers the entire city. Covers this police force in Hong Kong. Covers the government officials. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at your right. But it shall not come near you. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. And so we're going to begin right now as we kneel before the Lord. And then we we'll pray for different things. Glory be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Sovereign God who reigns over all, who rules over all. You put kings in place and you remove them. You control the times and the seasons according to the prophet Daniel. And so, oh God, right now, we cry out to you. And violence in the city of Hong Kong. Bring peace to the city of Hong Kong. Bring justice to the city of Hong Kong. Bring healing to the city of Hong Kong. Bring democracy and let it stay in the city of Hong Kong. Let freedom and liberty live in the city of Hong Kong. Let your glory and majesty move upon these beautiful people. And God, let this be a shining light of freedom, of hope, of liberty. We look to you, O oh God. We are united in the power of your Holy Spirit. And as we begin today, let people here feel safe and comfortable. Let people here today feel that a space in this city is being carved out where they are in the arms of our loving Father. Thank you, God, that when we speak, 
even if we speak and our mouth gets ahead of our brain or our brain gets ahead of real wisdom, we know that you hear you hear us and you move in mercy and you move to give us good things even if we don't know the right things to ask for. So God, we pray for goodness. We pray for good things for Hong Kong today. We pray for good solutions that we might not even be able to see for yes, peace. Yes. We pray for good solutions toward harmony here in Hong Kong, a city that is in turmoil and divided. We pray for harmony and unity. And also, God, we believe and understand that freedom is important. God, we pray, therefore, for freedom here. We pray for liberty. God, I pray that you would hear the prayers of the people of Hong Kong. I pray that you would even hear the prayers that have yet to be prayed, the desires in people's hearts. God, we pray that you would grant good things because you love this place. And God, teach us here to find humble and loving and good expressions that might be both encouraging for our neighbors here in Hong Kong and good, that might bring good goodness, good solution. Use us, God. And we pray for others to join us. We pray that others would join us in asking things of you, trusting that you will bring good things. In Jesus Christ, name I pray. Amen. Hail Satan. Amen. Uh, Hong Kongers, as we continue in prayer, if your faith tradition uh, would want to join us, and you can join us, and you can kneel with us. We don't want to be the only three uh, on our knees. So we're starting just to kneel. If uh, you love Jesus and you want to pray with us, then you can come right here alongside us, and uh, you can get down on your knees because... Uh, God says when we're on our knees, it's a sign of humility. Amen? It's a sign of humility. We're not standing. We're on our knees. It's a sign of submission to God. It's a sign of the love of God. So before I pray, we want to thank you all for coming and joining us in prayer. So please feel free to join us here as we pray. And uh, we're all three clergy, ministers. Reverend Chris and Reverend Pat are from Washington, D.C. area. I'm from New York City. So let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your joy. We thank you that you love us, God, with an everlasting love. And God, we're simply here to pray because you, the God of heaven and earth, hear our prayers. You hear our prayers. And so, God, we believe here in Hong Kong that you are a God who is alive. Jesus Christ rose from the dead on the third day. And, God, you're alive, and you're here right now in Hong Kong. And so, God, we pray for your peace. Uh, Lord, fill us with your peace. Fill each one that's here outside the police station at Nathan and Austin Rhodes. God, fill us with your peace. Fill us with your peace. Fill Hong Kong with your peace. God, we pray against the spirit of violence. We pray against the spirit of disunity. We pray against the spirit of discouragement. And so God, today we not only ask you to fill us with your peace, but fill us with your purpose, God. Fill us with your purpose. We're here today on our knees to pray for freedom in Hong Kong. We are here to pray for democracy in Hong Kong. We are here simply to pray, not to protest. We are here to pray for human rights here in Hong Kong. We are here to pray for the dignity of simply gathering together as men, as women, as teenagers and children, just to pray. And so God, fill us with your peace. Fill us with your that place at Polytechnical University. And Lord, that your peace, that the students, the young people would be treated with dignity and respect and care. And the doctors and the nurses and the journalists. God, we pray for the end of any police violence. We pray for the end of any police brutality. We pray for the end of any violence, Lord, against anyone. 
including those that left freedom and democracy. So, God, as we continue in prayer, we're so thankful that we could come today to enjoy your presence and to enjoy the presence of God, enjoy the presence of Jesus Christ, and enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. So this we pray for freedom in Hong Kong. We pray, God, for freedom in Hong Kong. We pray, we pray, oh God, for human rights in Hong Kong. And we pray, oh God, for democracy in Hong Kong. And God, we pray for those that have gathered here together today that we would, we would honor you by respecting you, God. So pull out your spirit today, O oh God, and we pray this in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen and amen. Lord, save us from we're, missionaries. We're going to continue to pray and share. And we would just ask uh, that we are carving a safe space. We want to encourage those. Please keep the sidewalk open if you can move over there and keep the space open. We felt it was really important in the midst of what was happening here in Hong Kong to create a safe space. And that really is the heart of God, isn't it? That in the midst of brokenness and peace, you know what? I see our dear sister crying right here. We're gonna pray for you right now. What, what you, well, you don't have to give your name, I understand that. Let's pray, we don't have to move out. Um, um, well, if she feels comfortable with that. We're going to pray right now. This dear sister is crying. I, we just want to ask you a question. How many people have felt broken and wounded over the last several months? If you have, we're going to pray with you right now. Our precious sister is here crying. We're going to pray for the moms and dads, for the sons and daughters who have been crying and broken in this city. The scriptures say there's a time and a purpose and a place for everything. And for right now, at this moment, we believe the time and purpose and place is to pray. So in, with all the noise we hear around us, we're safe right here because we're safe in the arms of God. Let us pray for the sister and all those who are broken and wounded in Hong Kong. Father, as Reverend Devlin lays hands on our precious sister, we pray for every mom who is hurt, for every father who has been crying, for every Hong Konger who has been raised here and suddenly sees their city in turmoil on the international news, sees flames on the streets, and God, we pray right now that you bring healing to this city. We pray for every broken heart. We don't have to be strong. We don't have to pretend we are not hurting. We are hurting. We are hurting. We hurt with you in America. We hurt when we see on the news what's happening here. It breaks our hearts. When I talk to my wife and daughter thousands of miles away, it breaks our hearts what we are seeing here. And so we pray to God that you bring solutions, but we pray right now, at least in this time, with streets barricaded and fire hoses and water cannons and tear gas canisters flying through the air. We pray right now, oh God, that you speak peace. You speak peace into this city. You speak peace into this place. One of the good things that we learn from Jesus is how to treat our neighbor. And another the good thing we learn from him is who is our neighbor? And a question that comes to Jesus in the scripture about who is my neighbor, and Jesus answers by saying that our neighbor is the person who is in need. 